Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leanne. Today I want to talk about why we really don't need techniques. So of course, you know, you hear a lot of us coaches talking about using techniques, you know, with scripting or visualizing or affirmations and and we really don't need them, right? Well, why don't we need them? Because we have been manifesting all of our life anyway. And we never use techniques, you know? It's just what you believe is true. What you feel about yourself, what you feel about other people, about circumstances, that's what manifests. So why do we tell you to use techniques? Because it can help you stay in that momentum stay in that flow you know to kind of change your mind it's like if you're sitting there and you're spiraling then using positive affirmations or positive visualizations can actually help you to move out of that spiraling energy and start thinking about the things that you deserve and that you want in a more um, productive way you know instead of like a fearful or lacking way remember you are not changing anything outside of yourself. You are choosing the state that you want to be in. You are choosing the person that you want to be. So the affirmations, uh, for example, can actually help you to get to that point. Like if I'm sitting here and I'm telling myself, you know, um, nobody likes me, I have no friends, and I'm you know, I, I kind of feel sad about it and I'm staying in that thinking and my subconscious, all it hears is, you don't have any friends, nobody likes you. Okay, here, here you go. You know, because the answer is always yes. Whatever you're asking is always, always yes. So if I say to myself, okay, I don't want to feel that anymore, but I don't believe it. Well, then if I start affirming over and over everybody loves me I have so many friends you know nobody can replace me I'm amazing I'm irresistible whatever it is the more you say it you're kind of gonna start to feel it you know and your subconscious is listening remember that your subconscious is listening to the words that you're saying so if you're saying I have tons of friends everybody loves me everybody enjoys my company manifestation is instant so the moment I say that then your subconscious is saying or responding, oh, okay, so everybody loves you, here you go. You know, and then presents you with situations and circumstances that show me that everybody loves me. I hope that makes sense. So no, you really, really, really don't need uh, to use any techniques at all. But we do tell you that because if you're having a hard time to really just knowing who you are and declaring who you are and realizing that you are the only one controlling everything outside of yourself, then yeah, go ahead and use some techniques to help you get there, to remind you that that's who you are. Like this is the physical Leanne. You know, but that's not who I am. Who I am is an abundant spiritual being. So like some people might say, okay, yeah, but you're living in your reality right now. No, <laughs> it's, it's a simulation. I think I'm living in my reality. Just like you think you're living in your reality. You know, I think that everything around me is real, but it's not. It's really not. And you'll realize this and come to that understanding when you start to um, apply the manifesting techniques um, or the, the way of living, you know, uh, through manifesting, you're going to realize that, oh, wow, okay, yeah, I, I really am more than just this physical being because I'm seeing evidence of it through my beliefs. I hope that makes sense. So like, I didn't, I didn't believe it either. I thought, okay, it's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Everybody's saying the same thing, you know, in the manifesting community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're abundant. We have everything that we want, blah, blah, blah. When I started on this journey and then I started applying it because I, I thought to myself, well, what do I have to lose? You know, I'm so miserable where I am in my life right now anyway. Um, so what do I have to lose? Go ahead and try it. What's it going to do? It's not going to change anything except for the better, right? It's not going to make things worse. So I tried it and then I started seeing things unfolding or showing up around me in my, 
uh, physical reality exactly how I either scripted it or visualized it. And I was like, whoa, like taken aback. And then I thought, okay, maybe it's a fluke. You know, maybe it's just a one-time thing, whatever. Let's try it again. And I tried, you know, some things that were a little bit more, um, to me, like it was harder, you know, I had a little bit more resistance to it. So I was like, whatever, let me try it, you know, and specific things. And then they showed up. So I was like, wow, okay, this really does work. So I get it now. I understand why everybody is saying this because it's true. It really is true. So remember and remind yourself, you're not changing anything. You are choosing. You are choosing. Just like when you go to a grocery store and there's, you know, 10 different types of butter there. And you decide to choose which butter you're going to take home with you. That's how you're choosing your realities. You're deciding. So decide right now, who do you want to be? And I'm sure you've heard a lot of coaches say that. Like, oh my God, I keep hearing it. Who do you want to be? But it's true. Really sit there and say to yourself, who do you want to be? Okay, well, I want to be successful. If that's what you want. I want to be slim. I want to be married. I, want, I just want to be happy, you know? Choose that reality by declaring it. By declaring, I am. I am happy just because I am. That's it. I'm not happy because of anything else. I'm just, I'm happy, you know? Too many of us, we, we try to look outside for the changes, you know? Like, and I, you know, I do the same thing. It's like, okay, well, why isn't it working? I'm not seeing evidence of it. And because, you know, like that old saying, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it, but flip it. It's the opposite. I will see it when I believe it. So once you truly believe inside that, you know, this is what you have, or this is what you are, um, this is what you're seeing around you, then you're going to start to see it outside of you. So you have to believe it first. And sometimes it's hard, you know, like I've had clients that, you know, it's like they're almost like not freaking out, but it's like they just, they can't believe that anything is going right for them. They can't believe that this is going to work. They've tried for a few months or, you know, however long it is. But that's the thing. If you keep saying to yourself, it's not working. Well, now you're in that flow of it's not working. So it's going to continue to unfold if it's not working. So you have to stick with it. You have to, you know, think about it like with the butter, you know, if you choose this specific brand and then you're like, mm, no, I don't think I want it. And you put it back, you choose another one. Well, now you have a different butter in your hand. You don't have the other one because you put it back. So if you decide to put that in your cart and go and pay for it, that's the butter you're taking home right? So if you choose the reality of, you know, being unhappy, then as soon as you declare it, well, now that's, that's the line that you're on. Okay. That's the road. So now unhappy, 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 you're going to continue to see things that are making you unhappy if you stay in that, if you just keep spiraling or keep saying every day, nothing's working out for me. It's not working. It's not manifesting. I can't get it. I have no job. I have no money. I have no relationship. It's going to continue. You have to stop it. You have to, if you want to see changes. And that's what I tell my clients. And if they don't want to listen, you know what? I'm sorry. That's on them. You know, we are all responsible for our own realities, our own life. So you have to take accountability for it's not working because you're saying it's not working. So remember, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Well, now stop that and start saying everything unfolds the way I want it to. Oh, okay. Now I'm in that reality. Everything is perfect. Everything's working out for me. You know, I'm successful. I'm loved. I'm so happy. And then you're going to start seeing everything unfolding in front of you. You're going to be like, oh my God, it really does work. And that's what happened with me, you know, because I too was like, 
you know, I didn't believe it when I first started this journey and, you know, I gave up so many times and then I was like, you know what, it's still not, it's nothing is still working out for me. So let, let me, let me really stick with it. Let me try it. So I said to myself, okay, for 30 days, because you know, they say, um, for like a new habit to form, it takes 30 days. So let's for 30 days, tell my subconscious what I want you know, and over and over and over and over. Now, of course I didn't have every single thing I wanted and why? Because even if I'm telling myself or like, you know, affirming or, or visualizing throughout the day, you know, that this is what I want, well, there's gonna be some moments during the day if I'm talking to a friend and then they're pointing, sorry for the truck outside, it's, they're picking up the garbage. Let's say I'm talking to a friend and then they're pointing out, you know, like what's, what's not happening yet in my life like let's say it's something that i'm affirming for you know like i don't know let's say i'll give an example this isn't you know what happened with me but let's say i wanted to get this specific job and i'm telling my friend yeah i applied for this job i think i'm gonna get it you know i feel really good about it and then a week later you know i'm talking to a friend and they're like so how come you don't have the job yet i see that you're still in your old job i guess they went with somebody else well now i'm gonna start thinking oh yeah that's true and then I'm going to start uh, agreeing with them and yeah it's true they should have called me by now and blah, blah 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 so now I just shifted I shifted states and now I am stuck in a state where I don't have that job and I'm never going to get it I am absolutely never going to get it unless I change it so now let's flip it let's um you know revise it so I'm gonna start to visualize okay my friend spoke to me because your your subconscious doesn't know is it really happening or is it a memory so even if if I did physically talk to my friend five minutes ago I don't care now I'm I'm feeding my subconscious something new so now okay I'm gonna visualize my friend called me up um, yeah so you know I'm so happy that you got that job like it's amazing you're you deserve this you know you have the skills you have the potential to move up in this company and blah 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 whatever it is so now i'm going to stay into that and i'm going to get on that momentum you know and i'm going to ride that wave and keep feeling that happiness like yep the job is mine and then physically i might get a call you know that day the next day or even if a few days it doesn't matter i'm not going to go back to thinking yeah, they should have called me by now. I really don't have that job, do I? No, I'm going to keep staying on this path because I have to believe it first to see it. So I have to believe that that job is mine before they call me and I have it. So a lot of people might say, okay, well, I've been affirming, you know, to win the lottery. And you can. You have to really believe it, though. And I can guarantee if you didn't win the lottery by now, it's because you don't believe it. You do not believe that you picked those winning numbers. Because anybody who does it properly, you know, like, I mean, not that you're doing anything wrong, but I mean, anybody that stays on that path, they will see evidence of it. And remember, like a lot, you know, a lot of times we might say, yeah, but it's taking me years and I still haven't seen it. So it's, it's, it's BS. You know, you're a liar. It doesn't work. There is no time. There's only now. So we're just remembering wrong. We're just thinking it took years, but it's all now. So no, it didn't take years. It did not. And I know it's hard to grasp that, but Trust me, if you stay on this journey, you know, you listen to other coaches even, um, you know, you do your own research, really, because that's what I did. You know, there was so many people saying the same thing and I was like, well, there's got to be something to it. And then I started to apply it in my own life and then I started to do more research. That's when I realized and it clicked that, oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this, this is true. This really does work, you know. Anyway, so yeah, you do not really need techniques at all. As soon as you declare it, it's done. Of course, you're not going to see it popping up. Oh, I'm a millionaire. Boom. I'm All of a sudden, you're going to see, you know, big bags of money falling on my head. No, of course not, you know. But if I stick with that, 
I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, and I really believe it. I really believe it subconsciously. So look, I'm telling you right now, you know, in my reality, no. <laughs> I'm not. But in my mind, yeah, I'm rich. I'm a millionaire. Well, if I stay on that, then it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen, you know? So you know what? Yeah, I'm a millionaire, guys. Yay! Yay me! You're a millionaire too. <laughs> I'm perfect? So are you. We are all connected, you know? So start looking at yourself with love. Like the way you would talk to a friend, you know, when you tell your friend, like, no, you're not fat. No, you look amazing in that outfit. No, you know, you can do this. Have that confidence. Start telling yourself that. Stop looking in the mirror and, and pointing out your flaws. Stop telling yourself in your mind, no, I'm not good enough to do this. No, I don't have the skills to do this. Stop it. You are your best friend. Tell yourself all the wonderful things that you would actually tell your best friend, you know? And if you need that reality check and just, you know, kind of like, you know, slap yourself <laughs> into reality that, okay, wake up. You know, you can do this. Like sometimes when I am feeling that um, insecurity about something, I will literally say to myself, shut up, stop it. Everything's fine, you know, and I'll say it like with that conviction. So if you have to do that, do that. But love yourself more than anything. You know, once you love yourself and you love everything about you, you're going to start loving everything about your physical life. It has to show up. It absolutely has to show up. The answer is always yes. Always. It's always, always yes. I'm fat. Yes. You're never going to lose weight. I'm poor. Yes. Look at all these bills coming in. You know, it's always yes. So why not start declaring all the good things, you know, that you want? Anyways, I hope today's video helped. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.